Righto, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very exciting episode on the Desol 4x4 Adventure Series, where today we're tackling another breakdown. But it's a very important piece of hardware, one that's often overlooked and has a massive misconception around it. And that is the caster correction bush. Where does the caster correction bush come into play? Well, it comes into play when you lift your suspension. Now, a lot of people think if you go to a 20 mil or a 40 mil suspension lift, you don't need to replace the caster bushes. We're here to tell you that you do. Right, before we get super technical, let's simplify it slightly and let's find out exactly what caster angle is. Caster angle is the angle of how forward or behind the steering axis is to the vertical axis viewed from the side. As you lift your vehicle suspension, the caster angle will change, which can significantly impact your vehicle's performance. It's essential to consider the impacts of suspension lift on the caster angle and install the appropriate caster correction solution. To demonstrate the importance of cost of correction when lifting your vehicle suspension, we conducted three tests. Our first test involved installing a 20 mm space on the coils, which resulted in a negative caster of negative 0.12. Our second test involved installing a 40 mm spacer, resulting in a significantly more negative caster angle of negative 1 degree. For our final test, we installed our 2 degree caster correction bush with our 50 mm lift kit and we removed the spacers. Then finally we performed a wheel alignment test to retrieve the data on that caster angle. The test resulted in an angle of 1.3s which is within the recommended range. It's crucial to note that as you lift your vehicle suspension, the caster angle will change, which can significantly affect your vehicle's performance. To maintain the correct caster angle, it's essential to install caster correction bushes that are specifically designed for your vehicle. Like our 2 degree offset caster correction bushes which is suitable for the Suzuki Jimny Gen 3 and Gen 4. Installing the caster correction bushes will correct the caster angle and ensure optimal handling and stability. This, in turn, results in better control of your vehicle and reduces the chances of accidents. Are you torn as to which accessory is next for your Jimny build? Well, maybe we've got the answer for you. We're about to launch an all new exciting bumper combo special. That's right, our Desol 4x4 front and rear slimline bumper coming to you at an unbeatable price. This direct bolt-on kit comes in lightweight at 26 kilos, which is equipped with front and rear recovery points. Plus, all the wiring is completed through an OEM wiring loom, making fitment and functionality all that much easier. These bumpers are purpose-built and locally manufactured, knowing full well that you're going to put your vehicle through the toughest environments, which is exactly why we've accommodated for a winch to recover all the non jimny drivers in your convoy. If you want to get your hands on this front and rear bumper combo special, I suggest you head over to our website at www.desol.ca.ca where you can also find complete DIY fitment instructions, place your order and completely kit out your Jimny today. Before we go, we wanted to let you know that at Desol 4x4, we've got even more options for Suzuki Jimny owners. In addition to our 2 degree offset caster correction bush, 
We also offer a zero degree caster bush. These are perfect for drivers who have worn OEM bushes or adjusted their radial arms to compensate for their lift kit. Our zero degree caster bushes are just as superior as our two degree offset bushes and they've been tested in some of the harshest environments without a single failure. You can trust our products to provide you with the durability and the performance you need when off-roading. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. We hope to bring you many more technical breakdowns in the future. This is just the first few of many. If you didn't catch our first one, it's about our Overlander tank and I'll drop a link in the description below. But if you wanna see more, hit like, hit that subscribe button to show your support and we really appreciate you following along. We look forward to so many more adventures and we've got massive plans coming through this year and we look forward to take every single one of you along on the ride with us. Thanks again. Cheers.